Yes. John Mack, we cannot control ourselves. You have to step in and control the street. Is that the new new that you envision as Mr. Mack does this idea uh, that Wall Street's going to need a police from this point forward? Um, that would never be something I would say. Um, I, I think you surrender control into uh, in, in, into a, another body. Uh, you argue for lower multiples for across the group. You know, your responsibility as a steward or shareholder or capital is to abide by you know <laughs> norms of business, wouldn't you say? Um, I don't know. I, I think that the, what's happened is the regulatory pen, pendulum has swung from being um, complacent, um, missing off clearly so much, to now one of being um, you know, hyper uh, uh, active in uh, an industry. And we don't know what the, what the world's going to look like. We don't know what the landscape's going to look like. There's so much uncertainty in terms of you know the ability of these businesses to make money, how they're going to, which way, how they're going to make money. Um, a lot's to be determined. But I, I wouldn't surrender control over you know anything that I, I or you do. Do you have to you know, monitor your program based on what the um, you know uh, you know was it FCC that monitors you monitors you like. You should have your own compass. I, don't right. think I would imagine. With your experience on the sell side, this compensation issue that Mr. Mack and others have to face, forget about the top five people. Let's go down in Morgan Stanley, in Goldman Sachs, in any firm, 200 people. Are they going to be able to retain the smartest people? I mean, you left Opco and went over to Meredith Whitney Group. Are, are, if, if the compensation police are out there, is it again going to be a new elite on Wall Street, not as good because they all went out to other other shops. I think the reality is, and this is going to sound warped because of the salaries that some people make, people always leave established firms to go and make more money because you're giving less to the house, so to speak. Um, so good people are always going to be leaving these firms on the ambition that they can do it their own, on their own. I mean, Goldman's lost a tremendous amount of talent going to set up their own hedge funds, and they've kept, effectively kept that talent um, in the family, in the distant family, by servicing a lot of these hedge funds on the prime brokerage side, but you're always going to see talent leave these firms. Um, I think, you know, for me, for others, you know, it just became a scary prospect of having the government determine what you make. 